For Crema Media in Johannesburg, I'm Halima Frost. Today I'm speaking with Geo Group Works Director Grant Rasmus regarding the company's Slimline Vibrating Wire Piezometer. Grant, can you give a basic explanation of what a piezometer is and how it works? The vibrating wire piezometer converts the water pore pressure, or other known as a uh, core pore water pressure within the ground, uh, through a diaphragm, a steel tensioned wire, and an electromagnetic coil. Uh, the piezometer is designed that so any change within the pore water pressure within the ground causes a change of pressure against the diaphragm, and in return, uh, tension on the uh, the tension steel wire within the piezometer. Um, an electromagnetic coil is used to excite the wire to get the wire to vibrate at its natural frequency. The vibration in the wire in the proximity to the coil generates a frequency signal that is transmitted to the readout device that's on surface, um, which is captured in hertz. Those Hertz readings are then used with the scaling factors generated in the factory given with the probes um, to create an engineering unit which is usually registered in a KPA reading and those readings can then be translated into understanding what the poor water pressures are doing within the tailings facility. And then how would one go about installing a piezometer to a tailings dam to, in order to accurately relay the information? The, the slimline piezometer is used to be installed within a, an existing standpipe piezometer installation that would, would exist within the current monitoring structures within the tailings facilities. Uh, the technicians would go out to site, lower the slimline vibrating wire piezometer into an existing standpipe piezometer on site um, and that would be connected onto surface either to just a data logger which would be logged and monitored manually by a technician or alternatively a more electronic system which captures the data and um, sends that to the software or the online portal which can be monitored um, from one's office or one's facility. Um, those installations do need a minimum diameter of a 25 millimeter standpipe piezometer existing. Um, if the tailings facility doesn't have that, a new borehole will need to be drilled um, and then a standpipe piezometer installed into that. Is any operator or monitor training required? And if so, do you offer this for your clients? There is a very basic training required. Uh, the maintenance of the unit itself, the slimline vibrating wire piezometer, is maintenance free. It's a sealed unit that is installed into the borehole. Um, there is some basic training on the maintenance of the data logger unit that needs batteries to be changed every three to six months, depending on how many readings you um, ask it to take. Um, so from a maintenance point of view there is training offered on that from a software side the software is a free software that comes with the data logger um, and that um, training is given to a on-site technician um, as well as there's continuous support from geosense as well as ourselves on any of the items that if there is any misunderstanding or any issues that need to be rectified those can be done um, and just an additional thing to add is that should there be an issue with the slimline vibrating wire piezometer, this is, can be uninstalled from the standpipe piezometer simply by being pulled out and being replaced. Another borehole doesn't need to be drilled to replace the vibrating wire piezometer. Um, because it's slimline and installed into a PVC tube, it can be replaced at any time if there is any issues or if its life expectancy has been exceeded.